Here we have an Excel spreadsheet. We are doing an example problem for a sports feet manufacturing company. They make shoes, obviously. We have some inputs that were given in the example problem. We have the unit sales price of $25, the annual fixed cost of $52,000, and the unit variable cost of $9. These variables out in front of the cells are from class. Also from the problem, they want to find out if they're gaining or losing money by producing 2,000 pairs of shoes. So these are the formulas that are we're going to enter in below. So for total revenue, SP times Q, as we have stated here, we need to enter the formula in, in order to, to calculate that using the numbers from above. So I click inside of this cell and to enter a formula I push the equal sign and then I just click in the cell that the numbers are coming from and it automatically puts that into the formula as you can see the B4 formula uh, the B4 cell was clicked and so it entered it into the formula now I need to multiply by quantity times Q which is in cell B8 and as before when I clicked in the cell it added it to the formula and the multiplied is put into the cell by just using the asterisk on the keyboard which is shift 8 so now the formula is entered I'm going to push enter the, to calculate the formula and it automatically calculates it I can change these numbers up here and it will automatically change in the formula cell. I change the unit sales price to twenty dollars which is less and so this formula should drop and let's see what happens. It did drop. It dropped to forty thousand once I change this. Or well, we're going to set it back up to twenty five dollars because that's what was given in the problem. The next formula is just like the one before. It's a multiplication but in this case we're using VC times Q instead of SP times Q. So I'm just going to click inside of the cell with the unit variable cost times Q, the quantity, and push enter to make it calculate. The annual fixed cost here is the same as the annual fixed cost from above. So I'm going to push the equals sign and just click inside of the cell that I want it to reference, which is F. And so when I change the input cell now it will automatically change this cell as well but it won't work the other way so it will be an, the function here will just be an output or an echo of what this cell is push enter and now to calculate total annual cost we want fixed cost plus variable cost times Q these were calculated above so I can merely sum these two cells F plus VC times Q. Enter, and that's the total annual cost. Now to calculate annual profit loss, we need total revenue minus total cost. And again, these are calculated already. SP times Q is total revenue, and F plus VC times Q is total cost. So I'm just going to push the equal sign, hit SP times Q, which is total revenue, minus, which is the dash key, minus the annual total cost and this will calculate the annual profit loss profit or loss of sports feet manufacturing we push enter to calculate and we can see that the annual profit loss we're losing twenty thousand dollars a year at sports feet manufacturing if we only produce two thousand pairs of shoes and this is how you enter formulas the next video covers how to do a break-even analysis using Goal Seek.